Real Madrid defeated Espanyol in the 25th week of La Liga 2022-2023. Playing at the Santiago Bernabeu, Los Blancos won with a score of 3-1. Espanyol had taken the lead through Joselu in the 8th minute. However, Real Madrid can turn things around thanks to the action of Vinicius Jr. in the 22nd minute. Eda Militao in the 39th minute and Marco Asensio in the 93rd minute. With this result, Real Madrid are in second place by collecting 56 points and 6 points adrift of leaders Barcelona. While Espanyol is stuck in 13th place with a score of 27 points. Carlo Ancelotti will go down as one of Real Madrid's greatest ever managers. Deputed as the coach of one of football's most successful clubs, the Italian managed to take the Spanish side to glory in two different stints. In Apple TV's documentary Real Madrid, until the end, Ancelotti reveals the story behind his return to the Galacticos for a second managerial spell and how the move stemmed out of an unexpected call. I called Real Madrid at the end of the season, I was coaching Everton. I asked if they have any players they didn't want. Then I realized they were looking for a coach, I said, Real Madrid always need the best, they asked who is that? I said, did you forget about 2014? At the time, the Italian tactician had just guided Everton to a 10th place finish in the Premier League that year. His conversation with the CEO of Real Madrid, Jose Angel Sanchez, happened to venture into the topic of Real Madrid's hunt for Zinedine Zidane's replacement, and Ancelotti's casual offer to take over became a serious consideration. Three days later, he was revealed as the Mareng's new coach. The rest, as they say, is history. Ancelotti's first spell with Real Madrid lasted 693 days, from June 2013 until his sacking in May 2015. He failed to win La Liga in both his seasons at the club but won the Copa del Rey in 2013-14. He also ended the club's 12-year drought in the UCL by guiding the men in white to European success in his first season. Since his appointment in 2021, he has only gone on to add more accolades to his CV, guiding them to La Liga and the Champions League. However, his future beyond this season is under doubt given the team's inconsistent performance. Real Madrid had an incredible 2021-22 campaign in the UEFA Champions League, having beat clubs such as Paris Saint-Germain, Chelsea and Manchester City before reaching the final against Liverpool. During the course of their UCL campaign last term, there was a leaked quote from Luka Modric, where the veteran midfielder had said that Real Madrid could win the title if they are able to beat PSG. Recently, Modric was asked about the leaked quote, and whether or not he had truly said it. Responding to the question, the midfielder said, Yes, I always said if we beat PSG the Champions League is ours. Sometimes the media are good at leaking information. Real Madrid did end up beating PSG in the round of 16. While they lost 1-0 in the first leg, they were able to overcome the slender deficit with a formidable 3-1 victory at Santiago Bernabeu, helping them secure a place in the quarter-finals. Needless to say, Modric played a crucial part in the victory. And one would expect the Croat to continue to play a vital for a Madrid side that has relied heavily on experience in the middle of the park, especially under the leadership of under-fire coach Carlo Ancelotti. Real Madrid are currently in the round of 16 of the Champions League this term. They are coming on the back of a formidable 5-2 victory over Liverpool, and only need to avoid a calamity if they to advance further in the competition. A bigger challenge for Los Blancos, though, could be the upcoming contest against Barcelona. It is a must-win game for a side currently trailing the league leaders by a whopping nine-point margin. In the meantime, though, Real Madrid will focus on tomorrow's encounter against another Catalan team in Espanyol. Modric has been included in the official squad heading into this game and is likely to start this weekend. Real Madrid star Fied Valverde offered a typically feisty response when asked about his commitment to the club. Valverde has developed into a world-class midfielder in the last two seasons, following his 2018 move from Penrol to Madrid. 
the Uruguayan international has won an army of supporters in the Los Blancos fanbase, with his all-action displays in multiple positions, including the addition of key goals this season. The 24-year-old looks set to play a vital role in the Real Madrid midfield for the next decade, despite the arrivals of French duo Eduardo Camavinga and Aurelien Chouamini. Valverde was asked about his feeling towards Real Madrid, as part of the filming for Apple TV's upcoming club documentary Real Madrid, Asta del Final, which focuses on their La Liga and Champions League double win last season. To get me out of Real Madrid, they are going to have to kill me, he said. The clip forms part of the wider program, which offers an inside view on Carlo Ancelotti's squad, as they stormed to the La Liga title, and overcame Liverpool in the Champions League final in Paris.